Welcome to our lecture online. Here we're going to do an example where we have a glass sphere, radius 15 centimeters, and inside the sphere we put a small object 5 centimeters from the center, which means it's 10 centimeters from the edge of the sphere. And the question is, where will the image appear when we're looking down into the sphere? Well, we're looking for S prime, so either it's an image inside the sphere on the same side as the object or outside the sphere. How do we find out? Well, we use this equation right here for refracting surfaces. So N1 is associated with the object, so that's the index of refraction of the glass, 1.5, and 2 is the index of refraction of the air outside the glass. Plugging all that into the equation, we get N1, which is 1.5, divided by s, that's the distance from the object to the, to the boundary between air and glass, that would be 10 centimeters, plus the index of refraction of the air divided by s prime, which is what we're looking for, that's going to be equal to n2 minus n1, which is 1 minus 1.5, divided by the radius, which is 15 centimeters. Now the sign of the radius is determined as follows. Relative to the object, the surface is bulging away, so it's what we would call concave. It's moving or it's, it's curved away from the object, so therefore the sign here is going to be negative. So the sign of the radius is always going to be dependent upon the position of the object relative to the surface. And you can see that the surface is concave rather than convex towards the object, so therefore it's a negative radius of curvature. Now let's look for 1 over s prime, so 1 over s prime is equal to 1 minus 1.5, that's minus 0 0.5 over minus 15. Moving this to the other side, we get a minus 1.5 divided by 10. The common denominator here is going to be 30, of course this negative and negative that becomes a positive, so I have 1 over s prime is equal to 1 over 30 minus 4.5 over 30, which is equal to minus 3.5 over 30, which means that S prime is equal to the inverse of that. And now let's see, where's my calculator? Ah, there it is, buried underneath. So we have uh, 30 divided by 3.5, that's going to be 8.57 with a negative in front of it, minus 8.57 centimeters. So notice the fact that it's negative means that it's on the same side as the object, which means the image would be somewhere in this neighborhood right there. So there's the image. I, for the object being 10 centimeters away, the image is going to be 8.57 centimeters away. Negative simply means that's on the same side as the object. And that's how you do that.